Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks Place KSP and in today's episode we will be building a lander with all the science experiments from the breaking ground expansion and we will be sending it off to Duna. Yes. And we're gonna do all that within the scope of this episode because in the next one we're gonna get to Duna and land it. So yes, I otherwise I wouldn't be able to stick with that for with the shorter format. Okay, I need the command modules yes i'm gonna take that one and given the fact that i want to be sending a rover yes you heard me right rover uh, i want to research a field science as well because that's got all parts that i need to be shipping off a rover good done okay onwards to the next endeavor and as i said we will be constructing a science lander and a rover. And look at this, Mark 1-3 command pod. Yes. So first we're going to go about and uh, build a lander. Okay. Three can, I want three Kerbals, a pilot, a scientist and an engineer for deploying the experiments. With the breaking ground expansion, we have forgotten many reasons why to actually send more Kerbals out in the space. And this is actually a welcome addition. So heat shield, decoupler and 2.5 meters, uh, um, yeah, wheels, SAS unit. Now I want to be placing these guys and this is for drogue shoots. So it's not the main shoot, that, uh, but it's the one that uh, can tolerate uh, decelerating from higher orbital speeds and making a transition, sort of like, you know, yeah. All right, I'm gonna place this big size tank because I do need a lot of Delta V. And guys, thank you for your comments and thank you for the amazing engagement that I've been getting uh, recently. I'm really happy that you guys like the series. So yeah, I'm chugging along. Now, uh, with this, uh, I want to put the materials bay. Maybe not the best place to put it, but what can you do? Uh, yeah, here we'll have four drogue shoots and we'll have additional two on the sides, just in case. Then should I be putting skippers? No, I want the thuds. Okay, so let's put the thuds. That's 1.65. Let's actually place them like this. And I have a valid reason for it. Land Duna Mark 1 lander. Duna Science lander. Yes. As always, guys, I will be sharing this craft on the, um, on the Steam Workshop. Yes, that's the word. Now, uh, landing legs like this. And I was thinking of putting a service bay below. And then I was thinking of fitting all the necessary things and I was thinking in the service bay if I could cram a rover. I wasn't sure if that's gonna work entirely, but I can give it a look-see. Yeah, this would fit, probably. Let's see how it would go with the wheels and stuff. So, um, I I'll investigate that option. Now, a fuel tanks. Yeah, let's put the shoots first. Uh, before we dwell into rovers, let's put the main shoots. Yes, that's additional four. Two drogue shoots in addition here. Good. Uh, solar panels. Yes, I want to be placing the two of them here. Good. Then I want some batteries. I think four of them would be good enough. Ladders. Yes, of course. Extending the ladder. Well, that should be enough. All right. Actually, I've decided to actually start with the rover. So let's place something like that. Okay, I want to be placing you here and here. Perfect. Good. Then I'm going to be placing you here good enough then i want to be placing two kerbal seats this way perfect some batteries we put them on the side and let's see uh, jeb kerman let's launch this one right 
So, uh, okay, this is backwards. Ha! Huh. You don't say. Right. Okay, so the test meant that it should be pointing this way, rather. Yeah, symmetry mirror. Now let's try and launch it. I'm just trying to figure out the correct orientation for this rover. Yeah, and now it's behaving as it should be. Good. Okay, that thing settled. Now let's continue. Uh, I want to be putting lights on the rover. There we go. Perfect. I always thought that this was supposed to be backwards. I don't know what the hell was wrong. It doesn't matter. Let's put these two experiment casings at the back. Steering. I want to do disable steering on the last two wheels. Yes, batteries. What would be the best place to put them? I could use them here, maybe. No, here in the middle, I think. Good. Good enough. Let's put some science experiments besides. Thermometer, barometer, mystery goo and seismometer. Seismometer, yes. Now let's see, mystery goo, where do I want to be splashing you? Oh, arm. I might as well be placing you somewhere here. Previewing. Um, yeah. I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna place it here. Oh, seems a little bit better. We'll see how when we, when we get there. All right, fair enough. Now, Rover Duna Experiment Rover Mark One. Duna Rover, yes. And inside we should be able to place all various kinds of experiments. But here we can actually attach Mystery Goo. So it's a Mystery Goo on wheels. Okay, I've decided to reroute it and I've apparently made a mistake. I shouldn't be rerouting it because this shouldn't be a new attachment point. Yeah, I'm gonna reroute it, making it this as a reattachment point. Okay, good enough. Right, let's save it as a sub-assembly. Rove Duna Experiment Rover Mark 1. There we go. Save and continue. And now let's take our lander. So, uh, before I actually start to continue with the lander, I needed to construct my rover. So, yeah, that's the thing. Okay. This being placed correctly. Now, let's see. Uh, oh, it's a little bit too much down and it's protruding from the bottom. And to be honest, I don't think this will fit the bill. It's too small. So I have to come up with some other way. So let's, if we place this backwards, maybe I should build a fairing, something like that. Mm, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, let me see what else can we do. We can do the trusses maybe. I could put it, make it built it into interstage fairing. Yes, interstage nodes, come on. Um, climb shell, interstage nodes, yes, okay. So if I place something like this, and I don't want to be closing the fairing yet. Now, battery. And then I place this one on top of it. Mm. Would that work? Where's the 0 0.6 tech separator? Come on. There we go. And now you fit onto it. There we go. Orient nicely. Looks pretty okay to me. And um, yeah, if I place it like this. Oh no, wait, hold on. <laughs> Everything inside is clipping badly. Even if I place it like this, it would still be clipping badly. Oh, that's too tight. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, to be perfectly honest with you guys. No. Now let's see, we have to figure out something else. Okay, let's load this guy. No, not you. That, rover. Let's make a minor modification. I want to be able to attach it from the top. 
Okay, but no, this won't work. So I can use it from the top, but I need something more concrete to be able to do that. Oh, the cornerstone of every KSP building, cubic octagonal strut. Thank you. And now I can attach it. Look, it even works. Perfect. So if guys you were wondering why I have two cubic octagonal struts, now you see. New root, it's this guy. Perfect. Save sub assembly, rover, top attachment, yes. Save and continue. There you go, back to our lander. We do want to take the clamshell, interstage nodes, and now I was thinking of placing a service bay, but let's actually put this rover, top attachment, see, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And now start retract it. Oh, we can even retract the wheels. Oh, that's cool. All right. So this would be our lander. Nice. Now, if we want something like that, that's the lowest I can go. Seriously? And then I can close it off like this. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm not overjoyed, but still, I think it needs some fixing. Um, but I think it will work. Then we play something like this. All right. Then I'm gonna be placing actually a bit more. Yep, mainsail. Okay, got it. So that's a total of 3,531. Uh, that's not enough to get to Duna by a long shot. However, I just do want to fix up my staging because it's completely messed up. Yeah, this guy, this guy, then these two. It, nope. You move here, you move there. You three move here, okay. You two are separating at the same time, you shouldn't be. Mm. Right. So, decouplers, and let's find something meaty. Nice and meaty. Let's see. Uh, uh, you, you, ah, these boosters. They look good enough. They have served me well in the past. So, with this tank on top of them, looks good enough. And I need the nose cones on them. Perfect. That looks like a meaty enough rocket. 4860. I'm gonna let it slide because I'm pretty sure you don't mean all of it, so I'm good. Let's pull here and we will have the asparagus staging, of course. Some strutting to do, yes. These need to strut correctly. These did, this did, perfect. And then I just need to correct my staging. The two of you should be firing at the same time. There we go. Then we need to find the fins, yes. Good. All right, that looks almost like a finished rocket with some minor modifications, I'm guessing. Right, I should be putting some fins here as well, because stability, yes, it's a thing. So, let me just double check. Uh, I didn't want pomegranate, I wanted something more. Uh, yes, communications, exactly. I forgot almost about the antenna. Huh. Dum dum. Okay, action groups. Custom one, solar panels. Custom two, antenna. Custom three. 
So uh, custom five would be extending the wheels. Oh, right. And I don't want Jebel and Bob. I'll take Danar, Bartemi, and yeah. I'm gonna take my Kerbals. Now, hold on, oops. I've realized that actually that's gonna be a little bit too low delta V. So I decided to jack it up a little bit. Okay, let me just return to the point which I had before. Something like this, yes. And I want to detach you and I'm just gonna attach one more of these. Actually, that might be a lot sim that will make things a lot simpler. Yeah. And just calculating, you know, the delta V and all that stuff. So, and also, guys, off camera, I have added the separatrons, or you know, it was a minor tweak that I decided to do off camera. Now, uh, these guys here. I think that might be a touch too much. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe I'll keep it. Doesn't look half bad. Okay, just make sure that everything is correctly reattached. Those two are good, those two are good, those are good those you're going down. You these two are going down. All right, so sort of, sorry guys, this is, was a little bit more building episode than I would like, and it will be a little bit of flying, meaning just getting it orbital, and uh, here we go, and let's kick it. There we go, slight tilt, and one more modification that they did, I've put the experiment up on top, you know, the part for collecting all the experiments was the only modification that I did so now we are almost supersonic perfect after which we will be going up up and away there we go perfect passing 500 meters per second our rocket is going hot straight and normal which is beautiful Hafen, Samson, and Bargel Kerman are the new Kerbals. Uh, by the way, guys, I have received your requests uh, for the name of Kerbals, and I will do so, except I've already recorded, I think, one or two more episodes. So do expect your names to start popping up somewhere past episode, I think, 27 or 28, somewhere on that. So, Kerman Apoapsis, let's add Maneuver Node to Circularize. All right, that's good enough for me. So as you can see, once we took up, we now have in space 5,675 Delta V. And uh, yeah, so we have plenty to get to do now. Whether or not we have for the return, that's a discussion for a different day. But uh, we'll check that out eventually as well. Node is in 50 seconds, total burn time 1 minute 8 seconds, and a total of 1500 meters per second to burn off. Here we go, and somewhere mid the burn we will be detaching the two side boosters. Okay, preparing to detach the boosters and hit it! Off you go, thanks for the fuel! 500 more meters for, per second to circularize. Two hundred and fifty. Seventy, fifty meters and and ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully circularized. Wonderful. All right close it up and uh, yeah now all we need to do is to plan our trip to Duna 
So, do not show thy face. There you are. Set this target. Now, uh, guys, I know since I'm playing without mods, I'm not doing the Hochman transfers and all that stuff. Uh, so I'm just doing the regular. I'm extending my apoapsis until I become tangential or I, until I touch the Duna's orbit. And then I will be at the apoapsis, I'll be circularizing to make sure that we have a rendezvous with Duna. So this is the way how you do it without all the Hoffman's transfers. If you want to me want to do me to do Hoffman's transfers, then look up my other series, which is the Interplanetary Voyage Season 1 and Season 2. There I'm playing with around 70 mods, and here, there you will be able to see me how I do the transfer windows, the planning, and all that stuff. Since I'm playing committed to playing stock here, or maybe stock with uh, just visual enhancement or two, uh, that's the way how to do it in stock. And then if you do it this way, you don't have to worry about the specific date or time when you're launching, about the window planning and everything that, but it is a bit more costly when it comes to Delta V, just to put it out there. Okay, warping until the burn and we will be burning shortly. Eight hundred meters per second to burn. Five hundred meters per second to burn. One hundred meters per second to burn. Boom, and there we go. The apoapsis is almost touching this guy. So now all our work that we'll have to do at the, um, at the ascending node, we will be lining up. So now we will be leaving Kerbin. And when we leave Kerbin, then we I will basically uh, cut it off for this episode because as, as I said, this would be uh, building the craft and getting it onwards to Duna. So destination, Destination Duna. All right, so let's just turn a better angle and uh, enjoy as we leave Kerbin behind. And guys, this is obviously a teaser for the next episode where this craft will or will not come to Duna where it will or will not land and uh, do all the uh, cool shit that I was building in this episode, hopefully. So, but that will be all happening or not happening in the next episode. So stay tuned and as always, like if you like the episode, hit subscribe for more stuff, share this with your friends and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Groundworks. Signing off.